Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today we are celebrating the World Card Making Day. So I do have to share a card today and actually I will create one using things that I absolutely love when it comes to card making. One of my favorite things on a card is to use flowers and today I will be using the Wildflower Garden as you can see here, both the dies and the stamps. I absolutely love cards with flowers because uh, everybody loves flowers and um, you can use them for pretty much any occasion. Another thing that I absolutely love on cards is uh, either creating shaker cards or cards with windows and uh, this is exactly what I did for uh, today. I combined two circle dies to cut out this uh, golden ring and I also used the smaller of those uh, circle dies to cut out the window on this white panel. Now it's time to do the stamping. I am going to use my Misty here and uh, I will stamp the leaves by using uh, inks from the Tropical Forest of Alset. This is Parrot. So I have my leaves ready there and I am going to add a touch of uh, darker shade of uh, green here, which is actually olive. And with this ink pad I'm going to touch only the base of these branches. This way I'm going to have a darker shade at the bottom. Now of course when it comes to card making, stamping is an absolute favorite and I always prefer having a stamp set with solid images that I can stamp and end up with a final result without having to color anything and that's why I absolutely love layering stamps because you end up with a really realistic look without having to color again anything. So this is what I'm doing here, I'm using uh, solid stamps just for this reason. I told you today I'm going to use only favorites. And for these little flowers, I combined inks from the shades of purple oval set. And if you follow my videos, you probably know by now that I love every shade of blue. So that's uh, what I'm going for, for these flowers. I'm using colors from the cool summer night oval set. So this is sea glass and I will combine it with ocean waves. Now for the ocean waves I want to add only a touch at the center of these flowers, so the easiest way to do it is just with my finger. And I end up having a touch of uh, darker center there. And I will repeat the same process one more time. And my flowers are ready. I'm going to stamp two more flowers here. And again I'm using soft lilac for the first layer and lavender fields for the shading. And again I used the same method with my fingers. For the center of my flowers I'm using honey drizzle. And after finishing all the stamping I used the matching dies. I secured all of them with my purple tape, around them through my big shot and now I'm just popping out all those flowers and leaves. And here comes another favorite, I always like to add some foam tape at the back of my panels. I like to have dimension on my cards and I am practically incapable of creating a completely flat card. So here I have uh, some dimension. Now I'm going to play around with all those leaves and flowers that I have cut out, try to decide where everything is going to go and then I'm going to commit with a placement and stick everything down. For some of those die cuts I'm going to go with glue and for others with foam squares at the back to add my favorite dimension. Since today is World Card Making Day, lots of our favorite online shops have great deals and coupon codes, so I have put together all of them in a blog post. Make sure to visit my blog, you will find all the info that you like and uh, I hope you will find some great deals for the products you are after. As always, you will find the link to my blog down below in the description area, as well as a full list of all the supplies that I use today. My sentiment is from the Leaf Canopy stamp set. I have uh, embossed it with gold embossing powder on a thin strip of uh, black cardstock. I think that it helps the sentiment pop and it's one of my favorite ways to add a sentiment on a card. So the card is pretty much finished. Another favorite that I keep doing again and again on my cards is to add little dots with my Nouveau Drops. Here I'm using Pale Periwinkle and Sea Breeze, so I'm combining two colors that match the colors of my flowers. I'm going to add a few of those dots. These are actually jewel drops, which means that they are going to dry translucent. 
And here is the result by combining favorite techniques when it comes to card making. So I have everything here, flowers, solid images, die cutting, window panel, I have nouveau drops and even a sentiment on black. And finally the end result is clean and simple, which is my absolute favorite. I hope you had fun and you got inspired today. Happy World Card Making Day to you! Celebrate by creating a card and hand it out to a person you care for. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time!